Hey, hey, it's Mr. Bass. I've got my mystery tackle box this month. Let's crack it open and see what the boys over at Catchco sent me. Hey, it's Carl. I've prepared a statement for the Mondo celebration attached to today's historical event. It's my 10 year anniversary. <laughs> That's right, it's Mystery Tackle Box's 10 year anniversary. If I was a bass, I'd probably weigh about 12 pounds right now. <laughs> 15 if I just had a shad load for lunch. And I'd probably have about 10 rings around my belly. I think that's how that works. Anyways, we're celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Mystery Tackle Box with some huge sales. Head over to shopcarls.com right now to check it out and celebrate. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Oh, and be sure to do me a solid as an anniversary present. Can you comment on this YouTuber's video as a friendly reminder to let them know that I'm a better angler than they are? <laughs> It'd really mean the world to Hat Guy and I. Thanks, tight lines. Okay, here's what's in the box this month, and you can see the first item on there is a $20 item, $19.99. Yeah, that's the Guggen Squad Junior Contender. How about that? Now, this is something, you know, you can say what you want to about Mystery Tackle Box, but you're not going to get a $20 swim bait even if it is a Guggen I know some of you guys don't like Guggen products I think they're just fine I got no problem with Guggen but you're not going to get a $19.99 swim bait in one of these subscription boxes mystery tackle box is about the only place you're going to get it this is a kind of a cool color it's a slow sinker four and a half inches long and the color is bluegill you guys know I like my bluegill colored baits let's Take this out of the package though and look a little closer at it. There it is. You know, this is a very lifelike looking little swim bait. It's a matte finish, so it's not shiny at all. Um, and it's not huge, four and a half inches. But um, man, I think they got the color pattern right. It really looks great. It's got two joints, which is kind of interesting for such a small little swim bait the tail looks like it is replaceable i don't think they give you a spare tail they don't but at least you can replace the tail if you need to uh it looks like it's got nice hooks on it the junior contender you got the dibble tips and tricks how to fish spy baits fishing for pan fish in the heat how to clean bait casters i don't know how many people have asked me how do you do that it's right here and the dibble tips and tricks. They're going with this heat theme. How to catch walleye in the heat. And an article on poppers. I like this kind of stuff. Okay, next up is a crankbait by Major Craft. There's the name of the company there. Uh, this is a red craw color. The particular crankbait is the ZHC55. They call this... Uh, the crankbait that's in their Zoner Hunter series. And I really like this crankbait as an alternative to wiggle warts. I love fishing wiggle warts. I think they're excellent uh, crankbaits. But if you don't want to spend, you know, big, big money for a original pre-Rapala Storm wiggle wart, these Major Craft crankbaits are the real deal. I'll put a link to the video where I talk about these and some other alternative baits. In fact, I've got a couple more here just to uh, show you. This is one of my favorite colors, the Phantom Green. It's a great crawdad imitating bait. Works really well. This is another one that's pretty nice too, the Missouri Craw, which is an exceptional color in the Ozarks. These, these crankbaits are legit. These did not come in the box. These are just mine. I've got several others. But... Great crankbait. This is awesome. Here's another great bait if you're a Ned Rig fisherman. It's the 10,000 Fish Sakoshi Bug. I've fished with this quite a bit uh, in the last year, and uh, it's great. It's two and a half inches long. It's got that Elastec, they call their plastic, the Stretch X plastic. It works great on a Ned Rig. This is a pretty decent color, too. You can see kind of red on one. It's a laminate color, red on one side, blue on the other. 
The color's called Blue Craw. But these are great little baits. I, I really like them as well. Again, that's three great baits in a row. They're pretty high-end sort of baits too. You got the $20 Guggen swim bait. You got the 10,000 fish products and you got that major craft. I'm, I'm really liking what I see so far. Okay, speaking of how to fish a spy bait, what was in the Dibble Tips and Tricks, here's a little miniature version of a spy bait by Jinko Fishing. I don't know this bait, but a spy bait basically is a finesse bait that has a propeller style blade in the front and in the rear, and has a very subtle shimmying action in the water. And, uh, they call this the Shinobi Shad. Let's take it out of the package. Looks very good. I mean, this is a bite size little spy bait. Uh, if you fished with this or know anything about the Jinko version of the spy bait, I would love to hear your opinion on it. This color is called Grimace. Little red and orange chartreuse belly, purple lavender sides dark black back. Looks good. Looks like a uh, pretty high quality hardware on it. That's the Shinobi Shad. Wow. Great box so far this month. Okay, here's a bait by Excite Baits. This is like a brush hog imitator. They call it the Hogalicious, I believe. One of the things that kind of separates Excite Baits from the others is they float. So if you're a guy that likes to fish a creature style bait, a brush hog style bait with a lot of appendages, uh, the difference with your Excite version, say, versus Zoom brush hog is this little bad boy's going to float. So if you need a floating presentation, this is a good bait to have in your tackle box. I'm not super crazy about this color. It's like a very purpley... You might call this a, a light June bug, and I like a dark June bug. They don't tell you what the color is, so I don't know. But I would put this, the way I would fish this since it floats, is I'd put this on a Carolina rig. That'd be my first option. And uh, I might even, uh, besides Texas rigging it, put it on a shaky head. But uh, it's got a ton of appendages, and uh, it's a decent bait. I will admit Excite Baits is not my favorite soft plastic bait out there. The reason I do keep Excite Baits in my tackle box, though, is because they all float. High floater. Okay, and here's a quarter ounce swim jig from Kalen's. Now, Kalen's Baits has been around forever. In my mind, I kind of think of the Kalen's guys as soft plastics sort of guys. They make a lot of grubs that are off awesome. I've never fished with their swim jig before. Uh, this looks like a bluegill color and quarter ounce is the right weight. That's usually the weight that I'm going to start with when I'm fishing swim jigs. The color pattern on it looks very nice. Uh, they, they call their swim jig the swim stalker jig. Interesting, their skirt is it's got less strands in it than I might normally expect to see in a swim jig, which is interesting. It's got a big hook on it, but it definitely feels, you know, it feels, it doesn't feel bulky by any means. It's a quarter ounce swim jig. Again, I'm always looking for more bluegill style baits, so I definitely will fish with that. That's the Kalen's Swim Stalker Jig. Right, here's another product that I think is super high quality, excellent. It's the last bait in the box, and it's their featured bait for the month by Hyperlastics. Um, this company is excellent. They make really high quality products. And Patrick Sabil owns this company, and he's the, the bait designer. Go check out my buddy Steve Chapman over at Get Your Fish On. He's very close friends with this guy. And Patrick is a true world-class fisherman. He holds all kinds of world records in all kinds of fishing categories, not just bass. And he invents and creates all kinds of very unique, interesting baits. So these are 
hyper elastic worm, super durable, super stretchy, comes with a hook already for you. And it's got these little spinner blades on the back. These are chartreuse spinner blades. This worm is seven and a quarter inches long. Great, great lure. Uh, I'm very happy with this, especially this time of year. Hot summertime, I'm fishing worms. I'm fishing bigger worms. And uh, I really like the look of this. So it's the featured bait, which means they give you a card on the Hyperlastics uh, worm spin. And uh, they basically tell you how to rig it. And then they even show you on their little lake map where you might want to fish it. Great product as well. I really could not be happier with my Elite box this month. It's fantastic. And of course, you get your sticker. The amount of value you get in the box this month is kind of amazing, especially when you look at the price of this thing. It costs you around 35 bucks a month, depending upon the subscription you have. If you go for a longer subscription, you can get uh, better deals. Speaking of better deals and great deals, Mystery Tackle Box right now has a deal where you can get a 10-year subscription. I think it's the standard box. A 10-year subscription for 50% off. That is freaking amazing. If you're a guy that loves Mystery Tackle Box, you love getting a, a surprise every month, there's no better deal than 50% off for an entire 10 years, an entire decade. That is off the charts crazy. Well, I hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and go check out Mystery Tackle Box. They've also got a couple other great deals where depending upon the subscription, you can get a free Guggenrod as well. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!